welcome to this video um this is second time running this the first one was accidentally shared to nobody <laughs> just me <laughs> oh it's all good it's yeah. all good not even me can find it for sure roll with it and this time i should be able to find it so put your comments in below what sovereignty means to you and please tell us where you're from and how you're feeling if yeah it's yeah this topic is about just give us one second while we're putting stuff together because uh, we actually have to do this ourselves so click on it it's in the group. Mm. Nice to meet you too. Thank you for being here. I'm just going to play a little song while we're sharing. I hope that plays. We'll play. So, I suppose tonight's topic is about some. No, actually, yeah, I won't say. Let this play. Share it to this page? Yeah, we did. Alright, I'll share it in the group, okay? Yeah. Alright. Alright, I'm going to share it You don't need that anymore. Yeah. Yeah, but uh
I suppose, right, I do believe that was absolutely enjoyment, enjoyable and necessary for today's topic, so. I actually didn't realise until it was played how important it was, as you know when you get the signs. Yeah. Yeah, so that was important, so thank you for bearing with us. When we shared that and we know Facebook lags, so we are waiting for a few people to hop on. So, after you, sir, and I'm sorry for interrupting. <laughs> yeah, notes. Who needs them? <laughs> so, Today's topic is about sovereignty and standing in your own sovereignty. So, what this absolutely means in the bare minimum or the bare bones is to stand in what you believe or feel is true and to stick by it. So, okay, there is a way of projecting onto others your own beliefs, which may or may not be true, it is dependent on different circumstances. But that's not what we're really here to talk about. More so the case of standing who you, in who you truly are and standing in that sanity and doing what you like doing. Hmm. So, is there anything else which you like to add to that? Standing, well, what came down for me today was, stand, like you said, standing in your own truth and be open. Yeah, bear with me. Being open to hearing no. And that is no from you, yourself, and your body, and no from others. Like, don't take it as rejection. When you stand in your sovereignty, it is not rejection. Yeah, yeah. So, the easiest way to do this is to understand what makes you feel good, what aligns with you, what gets you going, and to understand that's more likely where your sovereignty is. If you're doing something because of some form of attachment to it, like money, like fame, like any other concept or attachment that would link to a lot of old way of thinking that are not suitable for longevity for yourself, then you're doing the wrong thing. Now I'm not saying that working 9 to 5 is a wrong thing. That could be a backup thing to what you really want to do. Mm. So it's nothing wrong with that. It's saying to rely on that by itself is not optimal. And that's not you standing in your own sovereignty. Some people it is. I will admit that. Some people nine to five suits them. And when I say some people, I will imply a lot of people. So it is it is what it is and stick with what you believe is to be true. So power of sovereignty is saying and act saying what you believe be true with integrity so you actually know deep heartfelt that it is true and go and buy it. So if you believe being honest with everyone upfront no matter what is part of your integral value you should do that on consi in a consistent basis. Even if The shit's hit the fan. Now, there is a difference between standing your sovereignty and telling the truth to everyone and then understanding based on your intuition who's ready to accept it. So in some cases some people are just not ready to accept the truth. And if it's a case of change that is necessary, okay you still have to proceed with it. But if it's a one to one basis and you feel that other person's not ready based on some sort of vibe you're getting, trust it and stick with it. And mm. that's you being in your son and that. So with that in mind, to stick with the intuition, stick with what you believe to be true 
and stand in that no matter what, no matter how difficult things, no matter how people question it, is of integral value. And that's being sovereign. That's in my opinion. If this does not resonate with you, I'm okay with it. What I believe may not be necessary with what you believe. So take it as a price. And the other one that I am trying to work with of late is standing in my sovereignty in regards to um, people gossiping and trying not to get involved in like I mean it, it might worry them or whatever but we don't we don't know why people do what they do so I'm trying to weigh up all the pros and cons and like the, only that person knows what, what they're doing themselves and who are we to judge judge that but it doesn't mean we have to gossip about it and it doesn't mean that we have to per, per, participate in the gossip about it. am I saying that right yeah cir circulation of what's the it's information not, yeah. itself. So if someone's you know, if someone down the local road has theft a local shop, a lot of people may speak about it, may preach about it. Just because a lot of people do it does not mean you have necessarily have to do it. Now, if it's in within your truth to say this person stole money and it impacted you in such a such way, that's still you and your sovereign truth. Well, if you're doing it to give them a bad image, and that's the main intention behind it, that's not really being solved. That's that's the way I look at things anyway. And I, to be sovereign is is a difficult concept, as to practice what we preach is difficult when we we do question a lot of things. At the same time, though, we question things because we don't fully know, nor do we fully understand, and. That's okay itself. Not everyone has. A lot of people who say they have figured out just want to say that to cover up something that they think is lacking. Not everyone will have it figured out, nor will they have it figured out. Okay. What's coming to me straight away is polarity. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you're. Bottom line is if you're hanging around with negative Nellies again and. I don't mean like again, I mean this has come up before, but if you're hanging around with negative Nellies and people that gossip about other people, you have your, within your own right because you're standing in your sovereignty to not associate with these people and pull away from them. Um. Yeah, like I mean, there's so much, there is so much negative, negativity going on in in the world as a stand, so why why should we add to it? Do you know what I mean? Um. Yeah, it is. It's difficult enough as it is without like you. You have the news. You have you have the papers and whatever. So, you're for every. All right. Let me see if I can get this out. For every time that you add to negative stuff or negative gossip or not standing in your truth, you are standing out like what I believe is negative energies out to humanity. Feel free to step in if I'm get off track, okay? But like <laughs> but what what I'm trying to say is like it's up to us to stand in our own truth. It's up it's up to us to send out positive energy and unconditional love. Like, I mean, even when I have worries and, um, you know, stuff that's going on in my mind, I ask the universe to take it on and I ask the universe to transmute it to love and light all over the world. So that is like, rather than standing, like not standing in your sovereignty and rather than participating in negativity and gossip and whatnot which is not my truth which is not what i believe in that is what i do saying that there is a difference between inventing and gossiping but if you're going to vent to a lot of people please let them know in advance that that's for your attention to do because they not may not be mentally prepared to take it on board mm. so while, the, while there's a lot of information going around, a lot of information being circulated, it's more so stemming from what 
we can visibly see it was instantly known. But what's instantly known at the surface may not be what's actually there at the under layer level. It's like the iceberg itself where when we first look at an iceberg we think it's, it's like it's maybe smaller than a boat itself a lot of the times. But really it's like two percent of it is above the above the water then ninety percent is below. So the iceberg is actually massive in comparison to what we actually see underneath. Mm -hmm. And to take down the con concept as itself would strongly imply that a lot of things we just don't know. And a lot of things we cannot just take an instant information that there's some things we need to if our intuition or our truth conflicts with a piece of information that goes against it. We need to look into it to see what is it about that conflict. And if it's something that it's not really fully aligned with yourself, you have every right to disregard it. Mm. Just because everyone believes the same thing does not mean it's unsexual. Like, okay, the one thing I don't think anyone would dispute is what we walk on. The name of them, however, is converted in different languages. So, in English, they're called feet. We walk on feet. Everyone knows this. But in, in French, it's called something else. In Spanish, it's called something else. In English, it's called something else. Feet, well, feet, it's called in English. So, it does depend who you talk to, what they're feeling about it, and how it's approached. And there could be multiple different ways to, to the same solution. The how, the why, and the where, different places, different environments, different circumstances. All could end up with the same result. And as long as you keep consistent with what you believe you be true, then it's okay. We'll get there eventually. Is there anything else you want to add to it? No, I think that was very good. Thank you for sharing that. Okay. So while um, if you just hopped on, this is about sovereignty. And if you have any questions for us, while you have us, feel free to ask in the comments. Sure, and if, if you catch the replay itself when you ask the questions, we'll answer them when we get back, get to it. Yeah. So even if you only catch your uh, replay, we will try, try our best. And it does depend on everything. In saying that though, if it goes against our sort of values or wishes, we're just going to say no. And that's okay. Mm. Which is another thing that popped in as well today. Like the downloads today is just, uh, it's like boom, boom, boom. But uh, one of the other ones is showing up because you feel you have to show up. Yeah, no, this is not an obligation thing. You can, you shouldn't feel obligated to do what you need to do or mm. want to do. And there's something wrong there. Okay, there's oblig there's a difference between being obligated to go to work because it pays the bills versus being going to work because you want to get the finances to live your life. There now I know the two are very similar actions, but the mindset is completely different. Mm. Absolutely. So um again your body will tell you whether it's a yes or a no. Yeah, and if it's a no for full body fuck yes, then it's a no. And we put the emphasis on full body fuck yes. We obviously put the emphasis on that. Yes. And that way you know yourself. It can't be just like, yes, if you're like, yes. Yeah. It has to be. It has to be. If it's hesitant, it's a no. So even if, like, um, if you're catching the replay, obviously, please comment replay we, we like to see um who's watched and how we can support you so that is that one let's see if there anything else that comes in at the end of the day this is just an introduction to the sovereignty and um, we may have to put in hashtag sovereignty or something along the lines to so you know where to look and what to do about in the end though things will go well mm. it's all good it's all good Hmm. <sighs>
Same energy with that? I'm seeing the source Wednesday on of. Oh, is that wrapped her up? Okay. No, <laughs> 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 oh, because I was like, I had the same impression. It's like, is there anything else you want to say? You need to say, no. Okay. You got anything? No. Okay. Let's go. Yes. Whoever's hopping on, we're close enough now, so. Please catch the replay. And uh, thanks for being here. We love you guys. Bye. Take care. Send you lots of love and light.